Today, I'll show you how you can make cool-looking emission textures like these. Before we begin, I'm using Octane Edition for Blender here, but you can apply same fundamentals in Cycles. First, let's grab some images from Pinterest. Search neon lights or night photography, you should get something like this. Choose the images which have nice colors and contrast. This one looks cool. Let's use this for now. Connect the image to emission and opacity channel. Then you should get something like this and use the transform node to get more unique looks by adjusting the scale and rotation of the image texture. Use the gradient node to control the opacity and an RGB color node connected to the distribution socket and texture emission node to select which color is distributed from our emissive object. Now let's add some grunge look to it. To add that multiply any texture can be roughness or displacement and connect it to the opacity channel. And control the intensity with the gradient node. To add another layer of detail, we can multiply a sine wave node and scale it smaller. Same node setup can be used in any type of object. For example, here I'm using a plane with a random image texture with the same technique. Using this technique, you can create hundreds of unique, cool-looking image textures. On to the next method. This one is interesting. Take any object, doesn't have to be this one only. Then add a remesh modifier. Set it to blocks and increase the depth value till you get something similar to this. Then click on Apply and add Wireframe Modifier. After that, go to Edit Mode, select All, then in UV Mapping, choose Project from View option. Use an image as your emission texture and connect it to the opacity channel, then add a Transform node and experiment with scaling and rotation till you get something cool. Here I'm using both objects, one with a specular material and other which I just showed you, similar to what I did in this render. Here's another example, same method, but with a different object. That's it for today. Make some cool renders using these methods.